Arts, the world is coming to Santa Fe next month for the Santa Fe International Folk Art Market. The market offers an unforgettable opportunity for visitors to collect treasures from around the globe and to meet the artists who created them. And joining us with a first look today, our executive director, Sean McQueen Ruggiero. It is so great to have you. And we're also very happy to have celebrated writer Carmela Padilla, who is tapped to write this book, the work of art which commemorates the market's 10th anniversary 10 years and going strong thank That's you right. both so much for being here thanks for having us yes, we appreciate it uh, i'll tell you last year this was one of the highlights of my time in new mexico and i'm looking forward to it again and for our viewers who haven't been let's talk a little bit about the market so they understand what they can expect the market begins officially on friday night july 12th 13th and 14th okay so you come on up to museum hill and at Museum Hill, we'll have 190 artists from about 60 countries from around the world wow. joining us and bringing their master works from all around. And you can see some of the things we have here to share with you. Yeah. It goes from paintings to textiles, jewelry, weaving, ceramics. We've got it all. Yeah, will you, will you show us some of the examples that you brought that we can see this year? Sure. This right here is a basket, and okay. that's from artists named Janet um, Nukumbana, who is from Gahaya Links, and this is a Rwandan co-op. Wow. And again, it's about 4,000 weavers that come together and they make things from the earrings oh, yeah. that are in my hand. And these are sometimes um, artists that are either less skilled or might be suffering from HIV AIDS. Oh, wow. So it's a way for them to also have a livelihood. And then all the way up to master class weavers that will do these baskets and some also some other baskets that are called peace baskets that oh, come yes. end in a point. So there's things like that. Then, Carmela, you want to talk about the... Uh, this is a ceramic piece by Juan Almarza Godoy Gorgeous. of Ubeda, Spain. And this is a really classic uh, greenware piece mm -hmm. from Spain that um, you begin to see connections if you've seen Mexican green pottery be right, right. Uh, as well mm -hmm. between the art forms of the world. And, and this is done by hand. All of these traditions are handmade traditions it's amazing. in small workshops throughout the world. And you get to watch some of them do their work when you're there as well. Some of them sit there and they show you how they weave and how they do the work that they do. And you really get a deep appreciation. And last year I actually learned that many of these artists come from third world countries. So the money that they earn at the market actually helps to build new schools and new homes and, and, and the hospitals in their villages. So can you tell us more about that? Because that's one of the things that really touched me the most. Well, for instance, this piece right here that's on the table mm -hmm. is a group called Sewa from India. And in fact, that is a cooperative also of women. And the money that they raised at, through the market sales uh -huh. actually brought water to their village. Uh -huh. So these are real life-changing um, sales. And when you go to the market, 90% of everything that they sell goes back to the artist and to their country. See and I will that. tell you what's remarkable about this market is number one, the artists are actually there, which is very unusual. Yes. So you get to meet the artist and have that sort of intercultural exchange. Uh -huh. And secondly, in 21 hours, there is $2.4 million worth of folk art that's purchased. And you can really wow. imagine what kind of difference that makes. For some artists, it's 10 times more that th then they can make in a whole year at home and they've made it in a weekend here in New Mexico. Aww. So I think New Mexicans should be very proud Definitely. at supporting this Ooh. kind of market. Yeah. Gives me the chills. There's such a pride in that. And, and Carmela, the book is really going to be fantastic. I know a lot of people want to get it. Tell us a little more about it. So the book is called, I have a, a copy here. It's it's actually on press right, right now <laughs> as we speak. This that isn't is even so a bound cool. copy. So. Um, we will have bound copies for the market. It's called The Work of Art, uh -huh. Folk Artists in the 21st Century. Okay. And it really, it's an ex exploration of the handmade traditions of the world uh, through the eyes and the lives of folk artists from around the world. Because mm -hmm. the most important thing about these traditions is that they are ongoing traditions. They're right. living traditions. And many of them are thousands of years old, but they're still alive today because of the community's care for them and because of these great efforts to preserve aspects of cultural expression. It's so so the book looks at all of these different aspects of cultural expression around the world today and through the history to today. Mm -hmm. um, so that when you go to the market, you are seeing the living representation yes. of these art forms. And you get a real deep appreciation for it as well. And Sean, I also want to mention that there's a special benefit concert that's going to be happening at the Lensic in Santa Fe on July 10th. What are the details and what can our viewers learn to be able to buy information and tickets, or to buy to get information and buy tickets? Thank we don't you. want them to buy information. Thank you, thank <laughs> you for, for mentioning that. So the that's our first opening sort of celebration for the market. Okay. And, um, 
Um, these artists are coming from Mali, mm -hmm. and currently in Mali they are not allowed to play music. So they're sort of an artist in exile. So this group, go to lensic.org, and it's called the Malian Peace Caravan. So that okay. starts off our activities, free railroad, rail yard activities on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So Great. come on up to Santa Fe. Fantastic. And of course, all those details are on your screen. I am so happy to have you both here. Thank you so Thank much. You. And thanks for letting thanks me for wear these bracelets. Yes. I love them. <laughs> we'll have you back again to talk more as we get closer.